Let's get a moonwalk going, huh? No, don't fall over. <laughs> Two times stoppy, they say. Okay, I'll take that. Look at that balance. Don't go too fast. There's the moonwalk. Nice. Hey, that was a pretty good start to it right there. I tell you what. Wow. Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of Two Can Plays. Monster Jam Steel Titans 2. And today we are going to be playing as the one, the only, Pirate's Curse. We're going to be continuing on with our World Career Mode Plus. We only have a couple more chapters left. In fact, I think next week we're going to be completing it. I might even try and push it and complete it this week and we can move on to other things. But here is Pirate's Curse. Let's take a quick look at him. Of course, he's got that, uh, that skull on the hood where he's biting down onto his dagger. He's got... In his left hand, he's got a scimitar for swashbuckling. And of course, I love the detail on the helmet of the driver. That's really cool. And then on his right hand, it's got a hook. Is he's like Captain Hook. I like the, uh, the red rims, black beadlocks on this truck as well. And of course, the 3D hat and the 3D bandana that comes out the back and the nice captain's curse flag on the back end whoa <laughs> let's go find pirate's curse pirate oh man i can't ever say these pirate curses hidden in world collectible the hidden world collectible for pirate's curse he lost his hat we'll get a new one all right so after a quick stop off at the church to pick up uh, yeah, to pick up the uh, Hidden World Collectible to fix all of my parts. We have now arrived out here in the swamp, and there is this pirate ship that is totally in the wrong spot because we're out in a swamp. I don't know how this pirate ship got out here, but it did somehow. As you approach the pirate ship, the plank, the gangplank lowers, it uh, extends. And you can see it off in the distance, there is Pirate's Curse's, uh, the Hidden World Collectible for Pirate's Curse, if I can say it right. And so all you have to do is you have to get some speed, you have to drive up, and you have to hit that boost. Oh, and the cannons roar as you drive on up. But that is Pirate, oh, the Hidden World Collectible for Pirate's Curse, because I just can't say it. And it puts you off over here where there's a bunch of pumpkins you can land into. But hey, you know what? With that, let's get started right into our chapter. Do me a huge favor, though. Before we get started into our head-to-head, -head, smash that like button. It does help get these videos out to more people. Let's me know that I'm doing a good job and that you want to see more Monster Jam Steel Titans 2. Uh, here's our first competitor. Looks like it's going to be Grave Digger. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Early start. Oh, I don't think that was an early start. I think I was right on, but eh, whatever. All right, I do remember this track here in Toronto. It is basically just a big donut, but they have these berms on either side, and you have to hit them just right. Otherwise, you go flying off track, and that is a pretty steep penalty. Oh, that was a perfect hit right there, though. Okay, I am less than a second, half a second ahead of Gravedigger. I need to maintain that lead and not go off track. Perfect. Okay. One more lap to go. We got this. We got this. Two seconds ahead of Gravedigger. No, don't go off track. Woof. Here we go. Here we go. Coming around the final turn. Can we do it? I think we can. Yes! First place! Whew, that was a little nerve-wracking, to be quite honest. Okay, so the driver's jumpsuit's got all these little scratches on it. I don't know if that's just part of, like, the pirate theme or what that's supposed to be. It's kind of weird. Okay, next competitor is going to be Monster Mud Rottweiler. Let's get our fireworks show out of the way. And we'll showcase 
pirate's curse. Yar! I forgot I was gonna talk like a pirate for this episode. Yo ho, yo ho. And there is Monster Mud Rottweiler. Here we go, three, two, one, and go! Perfect start. Oh, don't go off track, Pirate's Curse. What's wrong with you? You lazy landlubber, stay on the track. Nice, okay, so we are less than a second ahead of Monster Mud Rottweiler. Oh, now we're actually in second place because we got a little wobbly there on the landing. Don't go off track and don't fall. I think we can still catch up, but it's gonna take a little bit because we've been a little wobbly. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes, one second, okay. Come on, here we go, that was a good recovery. Coming into the final, final turn. Okay, we're in first place. Oh, this is so nerve-wracking. No, no, second place, really? Really? Ah! Yes, Monster Mutt Rottweiler won, and that means that the bad pirate's curse actually took first place. He's gonna go into this with an advantage. Oh, which is not gonna be good for the final race. We're gonna move on with this and see, but I have a feeling that we're gonna have to restart. Urgh, that's frustrating. Yar, here we go into the freestyle. Let's do this. I will say, like, the closer we get to the finals, the tougher the competition is becoming. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Especially because these final races are so hard. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Nice start. Sky wheelie, big air. Oh, into a stompy. Let's get a moonwalk going, huh? No, don't fall over. <laughs> Two times stoppy, they say. Okay, I'll take that. Look at that balance. Don't go too fast. There's the moonwalk. Nice. Hey, that was a pretty good start to it right there. I tell you what. Another big air. Oh, don't flip. <laughs> that is going to be my first combo. Come on, get up. Get up! Sidewall donuts! Let's come on over here. We'll get the backflip container. Woo! Nice little corkscrew there. Ah, I had a little bit of a bicycle, but they didn't count it. That's okay. Nice combo there. Sky wheelie big air! Nice. Okay, let's come on over here. Let's get a nice big air sky. We look at that. Ooh, that was awesome. Stoppy <laughs> into a beacon. I'm losing all my parts. That's all right. Big air sky wheelie. And another beacon. Come on, let's get a power out. Get on up. That'll work. Oh, no big air on that one. Oh, they gave me a slap wheelie. Okay, I'll take that. Come on over here. We'll get this stoppy again. With a moonwalk. And a wheelie. Very cool. Very cool set of tricks there. Nice. I'll take that. Oh, we got a stoppy. Oh. <laughs> Come on, here we go. Let's come over here, we'll get this beacon. We're going into overtime here. We did get a power out. Uh, maybe we can get some donuts. Nope, that's gonna do it. Uh, how did we end up in third place? What? First and second place also got perfect scores. So all three of us got a perfect score. I guess I just didn't get as many points as everybody else. Man, uh, okay, so next event, Cursed Coast. And we're going into it in third place. Like, that means I have to score first. I have to finish first place in order to get first. I mean, oh, geez. Uh, he is four points ahead of me. There's, there's, there's no way. There's no way. We're going to try it and see where we end up, I guess. You never know. I guess he could end up last. You never know. All right, here we go. Curse Coast, this is a waypoint race. Oh, and this is a long 
just a bunch of monster muds. And, of course, a pirate's curse. But he's behind me now, and I can, uh, I can gas him. I can undead gas him. Ooh. <laughs> I wish I could get Rottweiler behind me and gas him. Come on, Rottweiler. You're just messing me up here. There we go. Oh, um, hey, traffic jam. Now that's not cool. The computer just gets to teleport and, and go right through him and become invisible. Jeez. All because Octonator got stuck on a tree branch. Oh, yes. I do remember this part. <laughs> ah, somebody ended up underneath the, uh, the boardwalk here. That's all right. How am I in fifth place? Octonator must have, like, teleported again. Oh, now I'm in fourth. Okay. I swear, the AI just, like... Eh, we're losing. Let's just teleport ahead of everybody. <laughs> Dumb. The game cheats for the computer. All right, I'll stop complaining. No! <laughs> of course, then I, I hit the wall, and that's just my bad driving. I can't complain about my bad driving. I can complain when the computer cheats. Rottweiler, I want to gas you. Why will it not activate? Uh. <laughs> Seriously, why is my my uh, gas ability not activating on Rottweiler? That's so annoying. I mean, he is obviously right on my tail. Ugh. All right, now I have scored first place in this race before, but it is not easy. I am catching up to uh, Pirate's Curse here. He's got to score like sixth, and I've got to score like first. Oh no, I missed my turn. Oh, so did everybody else. <laughs> but that's okay, because the computer's just going to teleport like that. Uh. And I'm still in fourth place. <laughs> Even though everybody wiped out. That's all right. I do have boosts, but I'm telling you, there is no good place to boost around here. This road is so windy and bumpy. If you boost, you just go flying off track and it's just not worth it. With one exception, and that's right over here. No! <laughs> See, that's what happens. <laughs> Come on, get up. Get up. Get up. Okay, now go forward. No, gosh. Yeah. Now I'm in sixth, really? Oh, man. All right, well. <laughs> that was a thing that happened. Well, even though we got sixth place, we still ended up with third place in the series standing. Let's see where we ended up total. Oh my gosh, Pirate's Curse got 17 points. There's no way I was going to catch up to him. Oh, Monster Mutt Rottweiler finished second. Okay. And I unlocked Pirate's Curse. All right, well, obviously we're going to do that again. Uh, okay, this time... We're going to focus, we're all warmed up now, and we're going to get first place in this head-to-head uh, -head event here. All right, first competitor is going to be Octonator. Three, two, one, and go! Perfect start! Here we go, around the corner. Oh, jeez. Hit it dead on. Nice. Not too bad. A little little cockeyed, but not too bad. We are in first. I will take it. Ah, Octonator is less than a second behind me, which does not give me much room to for error here. Oh, 
All right, lap two done. And he's still one second behind me. One second and then a little bit of change. Oh, he wiped out. Oh, I'm about to wipe out myself. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm off track. There we go. Thank you. His wipeout, though, made it so that I could finish first. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, AI Actinator, for wiping out so that I could finish first. <laughs> All right, here we go into round two. Looks like we're going to be going against Bakugan Dragonoid this time instead of Monster Mutt Rottweiler. That's okay. Let's see how we do against him. All right, there's Bakugan. Looks so cool. Bakugan is definitely one of my favorites. <laughs> go! Perfect start. Here we go. All right, we just got to stay up on all fours. Hit these, uh, hit these berms straight on. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm off to a bad start. That's all right. That's all right. I think we can catch up. Especially if he messes up like Octonator did. Ah, yeah, I'm less than a second behind him. I think we can catch up to that. Oh, it looks like Bakugan Dragonoid actually wiped out over there. That's awesome. Get That gives me an up opening here. <laughs> Man, that's okay. This is two in a row now that uh, that I've actually won because the opponent actually uh, wiped out. At least I'm not the only one who's having difficulties. Jeesh. All right, come on. Here we go. Coming around the final turns, and we got it. Oh, finally. All right, our final competitor, I'm sure, is going to be Pirate's Curse. Oh, we've got to beat him. We can't go into this final race with the deficit. Otherwise, he's just going to mop the floor with us. <laughs> so we've got to beat him this time. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Pirate's Curse versus Pirate's Curse. Let's do this. And three, two... One and go! Perfect start! Yeah, I think the key is just to stay in the track and stay on all fours. Hit this right on. There we go. Perfect. If I can do that, maybe he will mess up like the last two opponents have. Oh, man. Okay. I'm a second ahead of him. Just work on lining my my trajectory up here not too bad not too bad so far so good yes a little on the outside but not too bad all right i think we got it oh lining up for the final turn here we go let's get a backflip in there shall we <laughs> nice whoa Boy, that's been nerve-wracking. All right, I have proven to be the superior pirate's curse. Okay, so your standings first. We have six points. The other pirate's curse has one. Or, I'm sorry, has five. So we are one point ahead of the pirate's curse. Whew. All right, here we go into freestyle. Let's make sure that we get enough points to dominate in this event. Get that first place win. Even though we had three people who got that perfect score last time, I didn't get enough points to get first place. Three, two, one, and go. Nice. We'll start off with a stoppy. Two times stoppy. I keep trying to get that moonwalk, but I the truck doesn't want to go backwards. Whoa. Oh, almost got that backflip in there. Three times stoppy. Well, okay then. That'll work for me. Four times stoppy. Let's get a big air. Sky wheelie that time. Nice. Almost got another stoppy in there even. Power out. Let's get some beacons. Oh, there's a wheelie. Okay. Ah, I missed the beacon. That's all right. We'll come around over here. We'll get this beacon off of the backflip container. 
Got a nice backflip in there too, but they did not count it. I don't know why. That was clearly a backflip. Six times combo, not too bad, not too bad. We need to step things up if we're going to get first place though. Slap wheelie. Let's line ourselves up for a backflip. And they still didn't count it. What in the heck is going on? These judges are being super, super picky here. Nice sky wheelie, big air, good beacon. That'll work. We can get a backflip here. Nice. Finally, they give me a backflip. They didn't give me one there though. <laughs> oh my gosh. Seriously, stingy judges. Big air, sky wheelie. Stoppy. Let's just do that again. Big air, sky wheelie. Oh, let's see if we can finish this off with some donuts. Hey, we are in first place. Oh, thank goodness. Now it's just gravy time. <laughs> Man, the judges were being super stingy that time, but we did end up finishing in first. Thank goodness. Oh, all right, going into the Cursed Coast with first place. Let's check the series standings. Okay, we're two points ahead of Pirate's Curse. I think as long as we finish in front of Pirate's Curse, we'll be okay. All right, here we go into the Cursed Coast Waypoint map. And I don't see anybody, maybe Bakugan is gonna be a little bit of a hassle because he is a defender, he's got that defender ability. And he's gonna be knocking people around. I just gotta stay away from him. Ah, man, everybody is just pushing me on the out, out to the outside. And there's nothing I can do about it. I'm gonna get stuck under this tree like Octonator did last time. Yeah, I'll just let them go. Ah. Thank you, Pirate's Curse, thank you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Into phase two of this map. And I'll just rock and roll for a little bit there. Ice Cream Man's just gonna teleport to the front of the pack because, you know, why not? Okay, so I'm in third place technically, but who knows where the competition is. Oh, there's Rottweiler, I see him. I'm sure he teleported up to the front there. Driving through the pirate cave. Yar har har. No! Oh my gosh! Earthshaker, I totally gassed you. You should be stopped like way back there. But no, you're just going to ram me off the side of the road because you're Earthshaker and you can do that kind of thing. <laughs> All right, there, there's some gas. Now you stay back there, Earthshaker. Okay, so it looks like Bakugan Dragonoid is in the front, followed by Rottweiler and then Ice Cream Man, which means that the uh, the bad, the AI-controlled Pirate's Curse is actually in sixth place, which is good. That's good for us. Ooh, and there's Bakugan right there. We could probably catch up here. I think, I think, barring any uh, any major malfunctions, I think we might actually be able to catch up Oh, of course, you're just going to teleport right in front of me, even though you wiped out. No, no. What are you doing? No. 
I think that was an acceptable place to boost. Oh, come on. I think that does also... Oh, Rottweiler, what are you doing? <laughs> Where did you come from, Rottweiler? Hey, second place! I will take that, for sure. First place in the series! Oh, thank goodness! 17 points, and the other pirate's curse got 11. I wonder what place he finished. Oh. Yeah, it must have been really low. I bet he was in sixth place. <laughs> oh, well, I will take that. Thank you very much. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining me for this episode. That is all the time that we've got for today. That was the toughest set of racing that I have done thus far in this playthrough. And it makes me nervous for what's ahead. I know um, the next few levels are going to be even tougher. Be sure to check out the video that you see on your screen right now. Be sure to check out the next video that we do in this series, too. We're going to be playing as Son of a Digger. And hey, we'll see you guys on the flip side. Later! Later!